Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Here's a really weird one. Uh, over the last two years or so, one of the largest conversations that everyone's been having uh, has been the introduction, the creation of, the usage of central bank digital currencies. We know that they're coming. We know that some of them are already here. There are a lot of countries who have already begun to launch them. Uh, one of the more fascinating topics within the cryptocurrency space has been the actual usage, not only of central bank digital currencies, but where they are going to be built. Uh, it was widely believed a number of years ago that a lot of countries would actually choose Ethereum to build their central bank digital currencies on top of. That is because Ethereum is currently the largest and most used blockchain that we have on the planet. However, a large portion of that conversation has actually shifted uh, to another blockchain entirely. And the news begins to get more and more interesting as we continue to get crumbs, dribbles of exactly what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, a lot of this news is, I would day, dare say, like not meant for us and that it is meant for like higher ups and institutions and people within the central banking space. However, Recently, someone named James Wallace, that is W-A-L-L-I-S, he is Ripple's Vice President of Central Bank Engagements and Central Bank Digital Currencies, announced that apparently Ripple is working with and talking with a lot more countries than was previously let on. We've been hearing, especially since the end of the lawsuit where all this news began to like avalanche out at us, that Ripple has been talking with a number of countries to actively help these countries build their central bank digital currencies. The really interesting part is that they would be building their central bank digital currencies on top of the XRP blockchain. In turn, using XRP uh, as a... Uh, What's the word? As transactions are happening, XRP would be used for the fees and also the more XRP that gets used, for those of you who do not know it, XRP gets burned and therefore XRP is by nature deflationary. Off the top of my head, the, 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 the countries that I can remember are Palau, Hong Kong, New Zealand, and there was another one that was recently in the news that they're actively working with to help them build their central bank digital currencies. We got a handful of, I think, four or five that we were told are actively happening. However, James Wallace, the uh, vice president of central bank engagements and central bank digital currencies, actually uh, released information. I'm not sure if he was allowed to do this. This seems like something that should have been a, a little bit more hush-hush. Uh, he said that they're actually working and currently talking to 30 or more different countries about them using the XRP blockchain to build their coins on top of. For those of you who don't understand the actual significance of this, it's, it's actually extremely easy. Um, I got into a conversation before and I spoke about a little bit of this on my other channel, The Modern Investor, with people over there. Hello for those of you who are from the other channel. And I was telling people, Central bank digital currencies are coming whether we want them to or not. The fascinating part that I have found is that through all of this uh, and the entire fiasco with the SEC is that there are more than dozens of central banks who are actively talking with one company within the cryptocurrency space to build their coins on top of the new digital currencies from these countries on top of. Um, if... They even got a fraction of them to actually end up doing this as they, I can off the top of my head, remember four of the countries right now. This is going to mean a huge amount of XRP is going to be used by these countries, by individuals within these countries who are actively using the ledger, the blockchain of XRP. It's going to cause other com companies and institutions and countries to also want to get into it as well. If you find out that there are multiple countries using a blockchain, companies will begin to use them as well. Normal people will begin to get more interested in it. And this also roughly... I think ties into the news that we received a couple of days ago, for those of you who missed it on this channel. Uh, it was revealed by the CEO of Ripple. He thinks that at some point we are going to see a $10,000 XRP. And he thinks that when we do, XRP is actually going to replace Bitcoin as the number one coin. Don't, don't scream at me. I, I can hear people already uh, screaming through the screen. 
Uh, he announced that basically the companies that we've countries that we've been told about apparently they're now working with more than 30 of them there's a tweet right here on the screen as always the information will be in the description below as well someone said if there are roughly 195 countries uh 30 of them are working with ripple that equates to around 15 countries 15 percent of all countries on the planet that would be actively using xrp's blockchain to do their uh countrywide transactions I think and I have been thinking for a while that we are currently in this position within the cryptocurrency space. These are my opinions. Of course, this is my channel. We are currently in this situation within the world and within finance and within the cryptocurrency space where I think people are beginning to look for kind of who the winners will be. I've noticed a very disturbing trend where a lot of new people get into the cryptocurrency space and dare I even say people who've been in the cryptocurrency space for a number of years and I mean like three, four, five, like this is your second cycle that you're currently in and I think that the coins that a lot of people are choosing uh, personally don't make a lot of sense. The news is 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 quite newsy in that uh, we continuously get news about the same coins over and over. I'm not talking about this new coin has an update, this one has an upgrade, uh, this one is using Amazon Web Services, this coin has new NFTs on top of it. This I'm not talking about any like fluff news. I mean, there are very few coins, if not only one, uh, that we actively get news that they're working with multiple world governments. And to me, constantly see that there are a number of, if not the vast majority of people out there who are not paying attention to all of this news and are choosing to actively purchase other coins that uh, have no use case, are not being used, and uh, probably do not have as bright of a future as other coins. It comes as always a bit of a, a shock to me. Uh, many years ago, a large portion of the cryptocurrency market was heavily based on speculation. That is to say, it was more so than the, the, the speculative price-wise, but who would use this coin? Who is going to use this coin? Will we have companies using this coin? And to hear that, we get news on a daily basis as to who is using it. Uh, and even more so, it's not just a company. These are entire countries who are going to be building their central bank digital currencies, whether we want them to or not. And they're choosing to do it on a decentralized blockchain uh, that everyone around the world can use is incredibly significant. So as always, I make sure to make these videos so that you understand the news that's out there. I do not want anyone in the next couple of years complaining that they simply did not know that any of this news was happening. I make the videos for you for free so that you have... Uh, explicit knowledge of what's going on so that you can make a decision yourself as to uh, where you decide to put your monies. Yeah, so apparently they're working with 30 <laughs> different countries right now uh, in active discussions to put uh, central bank digital currencies on top of uh, the XRP blockchain. And if you don't see the significance of that, well, then I don't know what other words to say. I do sincerely hope that you are having a great day. Hope you all are having a great morning, great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.